guys welcome back i hope you're all having a really lovely day pretty much before i pack away all my winter coats for the year as it is currently spring here in australia and we are going into summer which i'm very excited about i thought i'd give you guys a little winter coat haul i thought this would also be a really good opportunity to go through all the winter coats that i actually wore a lot during winter and also just like the ones that i didn't really gravitate towards and maybe why i didn't reach for them and that kind of thing i did also decide to include trench coats in this video given they are like technically a coat but i would say they're sort of more of like a spring or autumn coat because they obviously typically don't you know provide that much warmth especially compared to some of the other coats that i'm going to be showing you in this video my trench coats and long leather jackets which you'll see in this video are probably the two pieces that i won't be packing away as i do just tend to wear them like all year round especially Given Melbourne's up and down weather, I will definitely still be wearing a trench coat in summer. But all the other coats you're about to see, I am literally going to pack away. I'm actually going to take them to my mom's house because she's got much more storage than I have here. And I am literally not going to see them again until maybe like May of next year. Anyways, we have a lot of coats to get through. So let's get started. Starting with trench coats as they're probably the most trend seasonal coat I'll be showing you guys today. Plus I do also happen to have quite a lot of them. So in recent years, I have really loved wearing long trench coats. So this one is really great. It is from W Concept. This next one is an absolute favorite of mine. I've had it for quite a few years now. The length is great, but it is also quite a thick material, which I find just makes it feel a little bit more appropriate for the colder seasons. During winter, I love to layer my trench coats over thick jumpers and scarves, turtlenecks and jeans and that kind of thing. On freezing Melbourne days, you might need to add something a little bit thicker, but for those slightly less cold days, these kind of trench coats are actually just perfect. I've worn this one quite a bit too, however, less so during winter as it is quite a bit thinner than the last two. This one is definitely perfect for transseasonal weather and it is also from W Concept. This next vintage Burberry one is actually the one I've probably worn the least in recent years. It is super light in color, whereas I've typically been gravitating towards darker coats and even like more khaki or darker beige, like some of the ones that I've just already showed you. It is also a lot shorter than the other three, still very much a classic piece and one I will keep in my wardrobe for years to come. I just haven't found myself wearing it that much recently. This next one is super fun. It is a trench coat and a vest. You can wear the two pieces together or separately. It is from St. Agni. And you guys already know how much I adore St. Agni, but I I think the thing that's held me back from wearing this one more recently is again the length it is a bit shorter than those first three that I showed you and so those early ones really have been my go-to recently I think I just prefer that super oversized long fit and you know they kind of have like a real inspector vibe to them and for some reason I quite like that this last trench coat I really love it has definitely got a similar feel to some of the early ones but it is instead in this beautiful dark charcoal color this is a great piece I've had it in my wardrobe for a couple of years and I do actually keep going back to it each year. I really do love dark coats during autumn winter, which you guys will see during this video. So this is probably when I get the most use out of this coat. And this last one isn't really a trench coat, but I didn't really know how else to categorize it. It is more just a longer style khaki jacket, a beautiful piece from Nothing Written and actually very transseasonal. It isn't overly thick, so you could definitely wear it during autumn or spring, which is what I'm going to be doing at the moment. And given I'm in Melbourne, I'll probably be wearing it a bit during summer as well. Next up, I wanted to chat about leather coats. I have a lot of shorter style leather jackets in my wardrobe, but only a few leather coats. The first one I have, no doubt you have seen many times before. It is one of my absolute favorite coats in my collection. I adore the forest green color, the type of leather, like the pebbling sort of effect. Honestly, everything about this coat is just so great. I actually wore it a fair bit during winter with just thick jumpers underneath with stockings and skirts and boots. It's probably not my warmest piece, but it is still a go-to. And surprisingly, this next coat is actually a lot warmer than it looks. It is a stunning leather the coat from Camilla and Mark. I absolutely love everything about this coat, the paneling on the sides, the padding effect. It just feels and looks like really good quality, which it absolutely is, so as it should. I wore this a lot again with thicker jumpers and jeans, cargo pants, and chunky shoes.
Moving on to the last other coat in my collection. This is a classic piece from Orson awesome Iris that I will honestly treasure forever. As this coat is quite a slimming fit being an extra small, I typically don't get to wear it as much during winter just because you can't fit a jumper underneath comfortably. I think if I'd opted for a size small, I probably have a bit more room to work with, but add extra small. It just fits like one layer underneath comfortably. So it's not really a go-to during winter, but I definitely get a lot of use out of it during autumn and spring. Next up is puffer jackets. This first one is from Garni. I bought it last winter and actually wore it a lot last winter it is enough room in it that you can comfortably wear a jumper turtleneck scarf everything underneath and it also comes with this really cute collar situation it is probably not my warmest jacket but it offers some protection from the elements interestingly though I did not wear this jacket once this season for honestly no real reason in particular I do still love it and I will keep it in my wardrobe but I just found myself gravitating for other coats in my collection over this one this is my go-to exercise jacket. It is from Uniqlo. I wear it less so for style, more so just to honestly stay warm. I wear it a lot when I'm going for walks in winter and popping up to the shops, but I don't wear it as much for like dinners and nights out and that kind of thing because it just feels a bit more functional rather than stylish. But it is a great puffer jacket. I've had it for many years and I would highly recommend. This one was probably my most worn coat of the season. It is the most stylish and chic puffer jacket I have honestly ever seen. It is from Nothing Ridden. I got it during autumn winter 21 22. So I'm not sure that this exact piece would still be available, but it was an absolute go-to for me all of this winter. I just love the cut, the style, and mainly the fact that it's just so warm. So this next one is really similar in shape to the last one. However, because I love the last one so much, I just really did not get a chance this winter to wear this one. It is also not as thick and warm and feels more like a spray jacket compared to the puffer style jacket. All right, so wool coats. I have a few in my wardrobe, but only two that I wore religiously during this season. The first one is this charcoal gray one. It is from The Curated. I could not get enough of this coat. I love how oversized it is. It feels so chic and surprisingly is a lot warmer than you might actually think given it isn't lined. I could comfortably fit jumpers and scarves and thermals underneath and I loved wrapping it up just like this. It kind of felt like I was wearing a dressing gown out in public, which was obviously just great. This next one I raved about all of last winter, and so this winter is honestly just no different. It is from Philippa Haag, and it is the perfect long black woolen coat. It is fully lined, making it extra warm, and it is honestly just so chic. I have loved this coat for two winters now, and I know it is a piece that I'll have forever. Ending on two lighter shaded coats, this first one is from Tove, and it is such a stunning piece. It actually breaks my heart to say I have not really had a chance to wear it. I think the color is a bit different in shade to what I'm used to wearing, so I don't always know how best to pair it or how to even like style it during winter, especially living in Melbourne. I just find I prefer to gravitate towards darker colors during winter, and yeah, I just, I just naturally go for the darker coats. I do love the added scarf detail to this coat, though, and I am determined to find a time to wear it soon. This last coat is also from Nothing Written, a beautiful piece, but again, I think because of the lighter color, it is just something that I don't seem to gravitate towards during winter. I really wanted to wear this item more because it is warm and it's also very chic, but it just, it doesn't feel as cozy as some of my other coats. I really hope that you guys loved this video just as much as I loved filming it and making it for you. I'm kind of thinking next I should do a video on all my jackets and blazers and like short leather jackets and that kind of thing. So let me know if you would like to see that and I will get working on it. Anyways, that is all. I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.